Okay, so now let's discuss how to connect to BigQuery uh, Cloud Database Connectors. Okay, so here now I'm uh, drag and drop the BigQuery connector. Okay, so for uh, three months I worked on this uh, Teradata retirement. Uh, they are moving the data to Teradata to BigQuery. So one of the big client anyways. It's a retail company. They have uh, uh, retail outlets across uh, US and UK. Okay. So now I'm making a connectivity here. So, so this is source and uh, this is the destination. Okay. So now let's double click on source. Just a second, it's opening. So file is, uh, I mean, like the character is open. So here uh, the main thing is uh, a credential file. So what is credential file? So here in BigQuery, so we will be using this uh, credential file. The purpose of credential file is to uh, validate the connectivity between data stage versus BigQuery. Okay. So what are the components that are available in the uh, credential file? So credential file we will give with dot JSON format. Okay, so dot JSON format. Let me note it in the notepad. Okay, so CDMF. Okay, so JSON. So this will be the dot JSON format. Okay, so here uh, in the JSON file, we'll be having URL and uh, Username and followed by password. Okay, so that will be stored there. So this file uh, will help us uh, to connect uh, between uh, BigQuery to data stage. So it will make a bridge so that we can extract the data. So once the setup is done, then what is the next step is? You need to generate the SQL during the runtime, or you can give the select statement. If no means, you have to provide the manual uh, statement here. Okay, so you can write your own uh, SQL statement, select star, or uh, from table name, and you can write the SQL statement here. Okay, so once you write the SQL statement, so then what is the next step? So here, you have to provide the field names, attributes here, okay? So in case if you want to generate, okay, so system generate SQL. So just what you need to do is you need to have a connect to, so there are multiple tables in the source, okay? So multiple ta tables in the BigQuery, take, an, uh, take a scenario. So, so there will be having different schemas, okay? So here, whenever if you pull the data from a uh, file, and uh, you'll be loading into a staging area. So that uh, is where the data is loading into staging area. So that we will call it as a uh, stage schema. And we'll be having some reference data. So that we will call it as a reference schema. Okay. So in real time, so we'll be having the names like this. Okay. So enterprise data with a CDW stage. Okay. So we will uh, we'll never, whenever if you're writing, any SQL statement, we should not call the table name. We should, we should, uh, we should use schema name, okay? So here for stage, they will give stack view name. So we'll be pull the data from view. So views are readable access. Then reference table, XRGF. X reference reference. So here we will give BVAL, EDW BVAL. So copy of the data. Okay, so copy of the, I mean, like uh, replica of the table. Okay, and similarly, EDW diamond, diamond, 
dimension table. So this also will give UDW B value. Something like that uh, we will give. So here we have different different the schema. So EDW stage is a one schema. Okay, so for that it has respective uh, view view uh, schema. Okay, and EDW fact. So that means EDW fact means that is a fact table. Okay, so for that uh, EDW summary they will give. Okay. So here they will have EDW B well. Okay. So all the fact tables and reporting table they will give in a summary schema. Okay. So we have to provide the schema here and we have to mention the table and we have to mention the attributes here. For example, now the question comes uh, I have a, a SQL statement. So that will be getting data from four tables by using giant condition. Then how to achieve, how to get that result. So what you can do, do is you can create that uh, entire SQL statement as one table and uh, create a view for that. Otherwise, uh, the same SQL statement, you can create a view. So we have access to create a view, right? So view is nothing but uh, getting data from multiple uh, tables so that we can create a view. And that view name, if you call here, means we can extract the data. But you need to take taken care, what are the columns that you have defined in the view as per the view creation order. Order only you have to mention, okay? So once it is mentioned, so how you define for uh, any traditional database or DMMS? The same way you have to mention here. And even for loading the data into target, same JSON file is needed. So whatever the file that you call for uh, source, the similar, uh, this thing is required. Similar uh, file is required here, okay? So here uh, they come up with a solution like uh, cyber for the security reason. So every time, so the JSON file will be called from, uh, JSON file will be uh, placed it in some secure folder. So normally uh, no one will have access to that particular folder, okay? So whenever, if you want to move the file, I mean, if you want to move the file, they will use CyberArk uh, Unix script so that the file will move from safe zone uh, folder to the ETL landing folder. Okay, so once the ETL job gets uh, kicked off, once uh, data is loaded into the destination, then what happens is the same Unix script, they will move to the, again, to the safe zone folder. So that, uh, so the jobs will run on the respective time zone, even in dev environment also. Okay, so everything will be traced out. So that is the advantage of uh, the people are uh, I mean, going for uh, cloud environments, storing the data into uh, cloud uh, cloud databases to safeguard their uh, data. So normally if you use uh, traditional database for Oracle, and so the T here only they will main, uh, mention the username, password. They, will, they can use global environment variables. They can use parameter set. They can run n number of times. Okay, so sometimes uh, we, we will have a permission to log in from dev environment to production also. So that will leads to uh, big violation. So to avoid such things, so BigQuery, this is a JSON file. Okay, so this is the process where we'll uh, safeguard our uh, data. Okay, so this is way to connect to BigQuery. So here we have only one option, uh, Unix, and uh, sorry, here only one option, insert is there. Okay, so in insert, we'll only insert the data. What happens if we want to truncate the data? So if you want to uh, truncate the data before loading into the table, the best option is we need to uh, uh, clean the data by using uh, uh, Unix script. Okay, so we have to develop a Unix script. Okay, so where uh, we will be cleaning up the data, I mean, delete the data in the table, and then we can load the data in a fresh table. We can load the data into the new table, sorry. Okay, so this is the way to connect to BigQuery. 
Okay, so any questions here? So now uh, the other version they came up with like 11.7.1 something is there. Okay, so that has a features where uh, in target we'll be having all this option. Okay, so normally in um, Snowflake uh, or another, another any databases, no? So they will have this uh, target features. Okay, so like uh, insert, update. So all the features are available now in BigQuery. Okay, so no need to write any script and all. Okay. We have this table operations. Okay, so that has been added in the 11.7.1, I think. Okay. So any questions here? Okay. So now let's move on to... And quota here, like if we need transformation only way, like joining tables, and where we can create those join tables, like uh, in the designer itself, or where you are saying, like in unique script only. Oh, joining transformation logic. Okay. For the BigQuery. Okay. okay. So, giant tables and all, uh, we will create a view in the database. In uh, cloud, uh, BigQuery will create the database. Oh, I mean, okay. database will create the view and that view will be called here. Well, then actually, the development will be in uh, BigQuery only. We are just uh, loading only. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's to, the purpose of this uh, BigQuery is to extract the data from there and move into another place. Oh, there is no uh, way we can do this operation in BigQuery itself. Why this data stage is required? Here, just only we are moving only, right? Yeah, suppose if you want to move from, from data from one schema to another schema. Uh, okay. So you have a data in staging area that you need to move to dimension table, then how we will do? Okay. You need a data integration tool. Okay. Right. Okay. So now how to connect to Snowflake DB? Okay. Okay. So to connect to Snowflake DB, the same thing uh, here, there is no required of a JSON file. So here, uh, there are two options, like we can connect with the user URL based. Okay, so in a JSON file, we have, will be having the URL uh, in BigQuery. The similar way in Snowflake, uh, this thing, uh, it will be having the URL. So we have to provide the URL. Okay, so that will be, account will be created for a, every company. So when they need, a, license of this Snowflake uh, DB. So they need this uh, URL of this stuff and username and password. And when I click on not URL based, then you have, they will create a uh, account based. They will give account and region and database schema and all. Okay, so in general we will use, uh, so I have not worked on this uh, Snowflake DB. Okay, so here, a uh, few of my friends who oh, they are working on uh, Snowflake uh, DB conversion project. So, retiring Oracle system moving to Snowflake. So, in this, uh, so they just they will have the URL to access. And uh, for the URL to access, they need a login details, username and password. Okay. And we can provide the system generated a SQL or our own SQL, you can write here. Okay. So Snowflake is somewhat uh, user friendly. Same like uh, nothing is changed. Only the en environment is different, and uh, how you use Oracle connector or Teradata connector, the connector is uh, similar. I mean uh, the usage is similar. 
same thing as uh, target as well. Same thing URL, region based. Okay. And rest of the uh, process is same. How we used with uh, Oracle Connector now. So we have seen in Oracle Connector, right? The same way, all of uh, the same way we can use this Snowflake Connector. Even now. so BigQuery. So when I work now, so there are some features it's not there. So I, we used to have, take help of uh, Unix team to create a script to connect to database and uh, delete the data in a table and load the new data, new data into the table like that. Okay. So with this uh, cloud in the rest of the environments also same, even for AWS, Azure, these things, no? So that also the same, there is no difference in that. Okay. 